Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're trying the Makeup Forever All HD Skin Palette, which is in the shade Harmony One. And I'm really excited because I've always wanted to have a palette that has everything in it, which I already have the Salt New York, which is pretty similar to something like this. But I just love the Makeup Forever and I just thought this palette was perfect. I hope I don't drop it. Um, I'm not sure which one is the foundation, which was the concealer, so I'm just gonna go with the flow. And I did buy specific brushes for this palette because I wanted to have some flat brushes so that they will grab onto the product. And I got a new mirror, which I think is beautiful. It's from She Glam, and it was quite an expensive mirror for She Glam because usually uh, She Glam has mirrors for like five bucks and this one was 25 but i just thought it was so beautiful if you want to get it it's um they don't have that many pieces left but it's beautiful it's heavy it's gorgeous i'm in love with this mirror so okay so we're gonna get started oh and i'm also using the viral telepoc l'oreal tele tele telescopic mascara so this has been viral i know because i've seen it everywhere and i've seen people talk about it and how they can't find it anywhere but i was able to find it on amazon for a pretty hefty price compared to the rest of the mascaras to be honest but i was like okay i'm just gonna take the plunge and buy it and because i always want to bring you guys the best that i can uh whatever i can find that's that i find good so I'm going to start using this very light corrector to correct my dark spots. It kind of has a bit of a green tinge. So I'm correcting my little dark spots. I got a facial yesterday and those facials that like squeeze your pimples out. So I kind of have some dark spots. But, you know, getting a professional facial once in a while is good. Even though I hadn't gotten one in years, I think I've gotten two in my whole life. So you can do, you can just you do your own facials at home, which is what I do, and they come out perfectly fine. I'm gonna prep my lips with my own lip gloss, which is the Vampy Lip Gloss. And this Vampy Lip Gloss contains retinol and SPF. So it's perfect because you're plumping your lips with the retinol, avoiding them to age just as you do with the rest of your face. Well, you can't avoid aging, you know, but it helps with the anti-aging and or aging gracefully. And I'm really happy with it, with the formulas that I've created. So now we're going to start applying the foundation that I think matches my color best I think it's this one this second one I don't want to get the palette dirty I'm like so I'm not gonna say the word about but a l about not getting my products all dirty and grimy so I'm trying to keep it clean and that's why it might take a little bit longer to grab the product. But anyways, you guys, I hope you guys are doing really well. I just uploaded my Barbie uh, video. And here's a corrector, which I'm going to use with the same tool. Because it's not that big. I think I need a little bit more. And anyways, I uploaded that video and I think it might be a little controversial. I don't think anyone's gonna get into a controversy with me because I'm not a big YouTuber, so I don't think anyone cares about what I think of the movie. But um, anyways, today's a new day. I woke up in a really good mood because yesterday I went to the gynecologist for the first time, second time in my life for the first time in, in like five years. And 
um apparently everything is all fine but he just sent me like a few tests um but apparently my ovaries are looking good it's just that i'm getting my period like four times a month so pretty much the whole month i'm on my period i'm sorry if this is tmi for some of you guys but um i was like i can't like keep like going on like this because obviously like you know how you get like some people get like moody when they're getting their period so imagine me having my period the whole month and then i lost it for like eight months not too long ago so imagine how my like my hormones affect my my a uh, state of mind my my energy my everything you know i'm using the concealer so i'm concealing some spots concealing my nose and I don't know if I need more eye concealer. Maybe a little bit more. This palette runs smooth, you guys. It's like butter. It's really, really nice. Really, really nice. I hope it holds on, but it's the kind of texture that I really enjoy. And I usually don't use cream uh, bases, but this is the kind of palette that I think I'm gonna get a lot of use of because you can just take this on a trip and see, I tried not to ruin it and it's still getting ruined, but I'll just clean that with a little swab or something later on and that will be the end of it. Highlighting my forehead a little bit not the whole forehead just this area and i think we're ready to contour i know a lot of people just do the whole thing of like contouring like adding all the shades at the same time but i wanted to do it in a different way so i'm gonna now maybe grab another brush let's see if this is not too thick of a brush Oh, it's pigmented. I'm gonna go back to the other brush, to this brush, which is the um, It Cosmetics Heavenly Looks brush, which I love. I thought I lost it, but I didn't, and I love it. This looks like a blush almost but it's not, it's actually a bronzer. It's this one that I'm pointing at. I just got my nails done today, which makes me really happy as well. I wanted something like nudie, brownish. Um, I should have gotten this nails done for my latte makeup, but I didn't. <laughs> but anyways, it doesn't matter. Um, I was using regular, um, I wanted to let my nails breathe a little bit and I was using regular uh, nail polish color for like two weeks and my nails turned yellow. So something in one of those, um, in one of those uh, nail polishes turned my nails yellow and I was like freaked out. But then when the lady came over just a little bit while ago, she just like, um, Rough them, she just like piled them up a little bit and got rid of the yellowness, which was very superficial. I thought I had seen my nail like a lot. I'm just applying a little bit of a lighter color here so that the blush doesn't, the bronzer doesn't go too low. And it stays over here. Now I think I need to add a little bit more, but up here. Because I went a little low with it. This side looks, oh, because I haven't added this. I was like, this side looks different, but yeah, it's because I haven't added the corrector. So for the nose, 
I'm gonna come through with this, uh, whoopsie, with this brush. I don't know if this brush is too, too soft to contour. Let's see. Let me grab my mirror. Oh, it's a dark contour. I like to go in a V shape. And then just go up a little bit. So this I'm just gonna pat it on with my fingers. Oh, and then do the little red line right there. So I'm gonna go in a V shape and then I'll add a little bit of highlighter. Okay, so nose is contoured. And I'm gonna add a little bit of a lighter color on the sides. There we go. I still feel like I need a little bit of a lighter color on the sides. Okay, I think face is looking good. You can see a little bit of the stripes. So I'm just gonna go with my beauty blender and make sure everything is really, really well blended. This palette, I am loving you guys. I still need to cover up this little guy that keeps popping up. This is because I fell on my face the other day with all the boxes that I had from deliveries. And yeah, I fell on my face. Very, it was quite funny. I actually laughed at myself. I was by myself. And I kind of laughed at myself because the way I fell was kind of funny. I know some people add a little bit of bronzer to this area, but I'm not sure why. Because I actually do the opposite. I usually add a little bit of lightness to this area, but I hope it doesn't look like a mustache. Oh God. Oh my God. I don't know if I love this look of like adding bronzer to that area. I'm actually gonna add something lighter to the Cupid's bow. Cause I like my Cupid's bow to look lighter. All right. Now onto some blush. I'm gonna use this big fluffy brush for the blush. I'm using both blushes. There's like three blushes. I guess you could consider, I guess the salmon color is more to conceal your, 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 your under eyes. So I'm using a little bit of the salmon color to conceal my under eyes. And it's working fine. It's working just fine. All, all the, oh wow, what is that? All of the shades are working perfectly fine. But I'm gonna go in and add a little bit more foundation here because I think, I don't know what I did right there. And I'm gonna add a little bit more foundation right here as well. So 
So my bronzer is kind of gone a little bit, but I didn't want like a very exaggerated look. And if anything, I'll just add a little bit more bronzer at the end. And now I'm just gonna do the line of the highlight in the middle of the nose and spread the brown to the inside of my nose. Okay, so now for the blush, I'm adding the lighter blush first, which is this one. I saw that the blushes weren't very pigmented, so hopefully they are pigmented. Hopefully the other one is a little bit more pigmented because I do like a blushy look. But no, I think, I think it's fine. I actually think it's fine and with the other one it's gonna look even better. I can use this one more like under my cheeks, like this area of my cheeks and under my eyes. And then go with the darker one on the outer parts of my, of my face. So there we go. We're going with a darker blush. These are all so seamless and so easy to blend. It's such a good palette, you guys. In my opinion, this palette is perfect for just throwing it in your purse and having, having it for touch-ups and whatever you need. Let me see up close if I need to blend anything. I have a lot of little hairs all over my face. Okay, um, maybe here I need to blend. Okay, so I guess, I guess the face is done for now because then I changed my mind and I, I'm adding a little bit more bronzer. I'm like a huge bronzer and blush lover, so my face never matches my my hands, as you can see, but I don't really care. I still love the way the blush looks on my face. And I'm going up with the blush all the way right here. Wait, it's not, there we go. It wasn't really pigmenting. There we go. There's a little bit of a line right here. Okay, so onto the eyebrows. As usual, I'm using my She Glam pencil. But I want to keep the eyebrows very soft. I don't want the makeup look to look too exaggerated. I just want to follow my natural shape. And use a shade that actually matches my brows. So I'm going with the shade. This is taupe in She Glam. If you have a similar shade as mine, this is Taupe in She Glam, but they don't have the Taupe in She Glam that doesn't come with the other side, with the marker side. They only have a brown, which I found a little too dark for me, which I will use sometimes when it's like a nighttime out and I want my eyebrows to be a little bit darker. Otherwise, I'll use this taupey color. 
you have no idea how many of this I have just because I'm like terrified of running out and since she glam is not something that arrives as fast as Sephora I have like seven or eight more just in case I run out <laughs> It's like those people, I'm like one of those people who like buy extra just, just in case, just in case, you know. Oh, there's some goopy stuff right there. This is a 24 hour brow setter from, uh, from Benefit, which I think I need to get a new one, even though I have, I have a new one that's closed, but as I said, now that I have a new one and I'm opening the new one, I'm going to have to buy another one just because I'm always scared it's going to get sold out or something. So whenever I really like a product, I like to have a backup just in case it gets sold out or it's discontinued or something. And for my eyes, I'm using this palette that I've been loving from Physicians Formula. I actually think I can add a little bit of this HD skin. Oh, it's from this side. Wait. I can add a little bit of the HD skin to my eyes. So they're looking a little brownie. Okay. So I'm grabbing this this palette, you guys, is like the perfect palette for everything. It has highlighter, it has um it's an all-in-one palette, that's what it's called, kind of thing. Like I'm not sure if that's the exact name, but I mean you already saw it on camera, so it's easy to find if you go look for it. But I've been using it a lot on my eyes, on my cheeks, on everywhere. But see like how easy it was to create an eye shape. And there we go on the other side. So it's super easy to make a nice eye look with this palette. I wanna go up a little bit more on my crease. A little bit above my above my crease. And I have to go see my aunt at the hospital because she just got surgery, so that's perfect because then I don't have to do my makeup anymore. I'm just gonna go like this, which is funny because I'm wearing sweatpants and I'm wearing a ton of makeup. Well, a ton, I mean for like wearing sweatpants and wearing this amount of makeup kind of doesn't match, but I'm gonna stick to something that looks kind of natural. And then I'm going in with something sparkly like goldy, something goldy and sparkly on the inner corner. Something on the other side. Sorry, I keep going to the this side. I, I've been going with my head like this for like so long that I'm used to like staying like this all the time. I really want to blend out this area with the rest of my, with my eye look. So now um, for the eyes, I'm going to do something very, very shiny for the inner corners.
I don't know how shiny it looks in on camera, but in person it's quite shiny. And now I'm just gonna powder my face with this Set Me Up from Lore, which has a pink base. And I'm just gonna, I'm just waiting for other powders to come so that I can compare pink powders uh, and see which one's the winner. But I'm waiting for them to arrive. Right here, forehead. Okay, and I guess I have a thin little pencil so that I can kind of do a little wing which sometimes I regret doing the little wing because I feel like it looks better without the little wing, but let's do the little wing. I'm gonna do it with my mirror. My magical, magical mirror, where is it? Here. I look straight. Let me just kind of follow my crease there we go and then on the other side I look straight and follow my crease there we go so I think that's enough I still feel like I need to like no, maybe I don't need to contour my nose anymore, but maybe I'll add a tiny, tiny bit of a bronzer to my nose with my fingers, just like this. Oh, that was not a tiny, tiny bit, but whatever. I already powdered, so it's not gonna go everywhere. It's fine. I'll go with, is this one? I'm not sure which one I've mixed together, so I don't wanna end up mixing colors that are not where they're supposed to go. This is supposed to go lighter, so let me grab a little bit more. my brush around I'm just gonna go in with a sponge okay fine and I feel like I need some sweet cheek glow from NYX because I just want to add a little bit more blush to my look with a little bit of highlight even though this palette does have highlight so i'm gonna try it i don't know which one it is no i think the highlight is just like a cream based oh no it's this one yeah Okay, 
And then since I added the highlight, I'm gonna add a little bit more blush right there and connecting it with the rest of the eye look. I always love connecting my blush with the rest of the eye look because I feel like it just flows better and it looks much better. And these flat brushes, I'm gonna have to wash them because I think I need more powder also on my inner cheeks. I'm gonna have to wash them every time I use them because uh, the color really stays on them. Ooh. Why is it coming off? Perfect. Okay, so on to La Pièce de Resistance, which is the telescopic, telescopic mascara from uh, L'Oreal that apparently got sold out because Michaela from TikTok, who I don't follow, made it viral and she added fake lashes I'm not curling my lashes because apparently you don't need to curl your lashes. I think this is the same mascara. I, I hope I'm right. But apparently you don't need to curl your lashes. And she made it viral and added fake lashes. So now she's getting like some backlash from, for that. And so is L'Oreal because... Uh, I think L'Oreal had to approve the video before it went up and they approved it so they're getting some backlash but I'm so used to all brands where's my towel my eyes crying I'm so used to all brands just adding fake lashes to their um to their models at the end of the result of the mascara that I'm not surprised and I don't really care too much to be honest like I'm just gonna be honest I don't really care too much because well I care about deceiving marketing like I do care about influencers just telling you like this is the best thing ever and you're gonna love this and it's amazing and then you end up buying the product with the best of your intentions and you realize that it's a crappy product but this one's not a crappy product it's just not the lengthening and the volume that she said she was getting from this mascara you know i hope this is the same mascara i'm not sure but i think it is Let it dry a little bit and remove very softly. Okay. So I think eyes are looking okay. Did I get some on here? Yes, I did. I feel like I've removed a little bit of the eye makeup, did I? I'm like adding dark mascara to my eyes because that's how I removed it, but okay. I think it's looking fine. I don't need to look like a doll. I don't need to look perfect. Oh, but I forgot to do my lower eyes, which I always do. So let's do the lower eyes with some brown.
Okay. See how adding the brown on your lower lids makes your eyes look bigger? That's why I always add, add the brown. I always make sure I add the brown because it does always make my eyes look bigger. It just like makes them pop. Yes, 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 yes. So now I'm just gonna line my lips with, oh no, this is a brown liner. This, where's my lip liner? I don't think I have a lip liner. Oh yeah, I do. With this NARS lip liner in the shade Precision Lip Oh, Precision Lip Pencil. Uh, in the shade, I have no idea, you guys, what the shade is, but I'm just gonna line my lips. I don't wanna overline my lips. Because I feel like I have quite big lips and they overtake my face. Are they even? See, my lips look so big. That's what always happens. So since my lips look so big and they're so pigmented now, I need to add more blush. to some lip balm or lipstick actually that I got from Amazon in a pack of five and they're great and I'm gonna have to cut them to make my lip glosses which is sad because they're actually beautiful I may not cut this one because I really like the color so this is the final makeup look with the Makeup Forever palette, you know? It's simple, it's cute, it takes, it took me a little while just because it was my first time using it. So I'm sure once I get like a hang of it, it will be quicker and easier um, to just do my makeup like a lot faster and everything. But I think it's a great palette. It's heavy, but it's small. It is very heavy because of the metallic pants. But it's a small palette i expected something way bigger it's small it's, it has everything you need to do a full face and i mean all you need is powder and your the rest of the things but like complexion wise it has everything you need so let's fluff up the hair a little bit and let's get ready to take some pictures so i can upload this video and thank you guys so much for being here Thank you for everyone who subscribes to my channel, everyone who likes and comments. It means so much to me. It means that I can keep doing this and that's what makes me the happiest. So thank you guys. I hope you have a great rest of your day, night, whatever, whenever you're watching this and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.